Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day. New comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. Digitally, physically, it's like the best day of the week. Now, DC has hooked us up with the second volume of All-Star Batman hitting shelves today. This is called End Ends of the Earth. It's by Scott Snyder, Jock, Francesco Francavilla, Tula Lotte, Giuseppe Camoncolo. Um... If you haven't been reading the Scott Snyder All-Star Batman series, you're really missing out. It is easily one of the top comic series that is consistently coming out every single month. Absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing, and uh, easily one of the best superhero comics that are out right now. Uh, and that's because Snyder is really kind of diving into the psychological aspect of Batman, taking us through various villains, Batman himself is a hero, uh, diving into his history, the psycholo uh, psychology, uh, everything you can think of, all packed into one story. Now this trade is uh, interesting because it's a little bit different than previous one. Now the thing that I've really liked about All-Star Batman is it's a bunch of short stories that are perfect for trade. Now this collects issues uh, 6 through 9, uh, so 1 through 5 was like one story, 6 through 9 feels like it's three different stories put together. You have him dealing with uh, with Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy, and then after Poison Ivy, it's a mysterious villain that I'm not going to ruin who it is. Um, and each of those three stories connects. So a little bit different than the first volume, which was just kind of one big giant epic story. Uh, so this is a little bit different, and then afterwards, after this, it kind of goes back into that one story. Now, what's, what I really, really like about this is it is standalone in that you can read this and read no other Batman series and enjoy this, and enjoy it a lot. You don't even have to read the first volume to enjoy this. Uh, the other part of it is it is referenced in the ongoing continuity. So while it is tied into the Rebirth Batman universe, it is not tied down by it. It is adding flavor, it's adding color, it's adding um, uh, a rich depth to it all that, um, you know, I think is when Batman is at his best, when it is it's psychological, when it's about the character, the person behind the cowl, and his rich rogues gallery. That's when it is the best of the best and, and doing amazing things, and this volume basically proves that. Now, it's a, a huge convoluted story in the best and most entertaining way, big kind of epic, villain that uh, trying to do bad things that you know you'd expect from comics and not in real life so just go with the ride and enjoy it this is where it's one that's kind of a turn your brain off and, and go with it and when you get towards the end all the pieces come together and it's like oh okay um, and as I said it deals with Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Mad Hatter's in there and then a mysterious one that I'm not going to reveal at, until uh, let you just deal with it at the end so um, all that is really good. It's entertaining. The art is amazing. Every single chapter kind of has a different artist, so it's a different look to it, and the artists just knock it out of the park. And then we get uh, backup stories involving Duke Thomas, a character who I've really grown to enjoy. Like, I'm not yet at the in love with the character, like I grew to love Damian Wayne, but he's definitely standing out on his own, and I'm really fascinated to see where DC takes him as a whole. And a lot of that is coming out of this, so if you want to see Duke's journey, this, this is, you know, I mean, it's really an interesting series in that you've got the main story dealing with Batman and his villains, and uh, their kind of back and forth and, and the the yin and yang nature about it, and then you also have this flip side of Duke doing his own thing with Batman and his yin and yang nature with Batman and how he's growing into whatever he's going to become in the future. So that's kind of a really fascinating thing to see. Uh, as I said, the artists change up a little bit, which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all, because the art is always really freaking good. I mean, you can see that. I mean, that's really awesome art, and it differs than the Poison Ivy story, which has... There we go. So there's Poison Ivy. Very, very different look than uh, we saw with Mr. Freeze. And then we also get stuff with Matt Hatter, which has its own look to it. Very different look. Uh, and all of it flows really, really nicely. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to ruin um, what's to come. The Duke Thomas stuff is really, really good. The the Scott Snyder leading up to, uh, you know, main story is really good. And this is Batman at his best, so 
Uh, this is, I think, a must-get. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, retails This retails for $22.99 for uh, 6 through 9 so a little bit on the expensive side. It is a hardcover book, so uh, there's that. Uh, opening up, it's actually kind of neat on the internal. We get some art on the actual book itself that is covered up by its dust jacket. We've got that and that, which is pretty neat. Uh, as far as extras in the book, we have covers. We have some covers. That's not even... There we go. we got covers. And then on the back, again, don't want to ruin things, so do my best to get to the right spot. We've got variants as well, uh, which is kind of what you expect for the, the latter uh, volumes of DC books. Uh, overall, uh, as I said once, I'm going to say it again, this to me is a buy. Uh, I think it's really, really good. Uh, very entertaining. This is one of the books I look forward to each and every single month from DC. I mean, overall, I think their Bat books is probably the strongest part of their universe, and it's impressive because they've got some really strong unit parts of their universe. Uh, so go out, check this. This is at your comic book shop. Now, if you don't know if you have a comic book shop near you, uh, we've got a link underneath. You can put in your zip code and go find one. If you don't have one near you, we have some links underneath this video. But first, go support your local shop. That is the top thing to do. Tell them that we sent you. Like, please, please do that. That would be awesome. Um, and because without comic book shops, like, none of this is going to be possible. Comics are going to have a lot of problems, so go support your local comic shop. And again, if you don't have one near you, we've got links from Things from Another World, which is a comic book shop, and Amazon. Amazon will be out next week, because there's usually a delay with uh, DC Books. Uh, and both of those are going to be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage, and you help support us. If you are into DC Comics, Batman, Scott Snyder, comic books in general, check us out every single day every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, tw uh, Tumblr, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. I want to thank DC Comics again for hooking us up with this. We like to be transparent, let you know these things so you can help make a decision as to our reviews. Since they're not all glowing, I think we're pretty honest when it comes to that stuff. Uh, until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Enjoy your new comic book day. Keep on reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.